joy that you bring us tonight as we celebrate your advent, your coming into our presence. May these presentations be a true measure of our faith in our lives as we spread your word throughout the world. Bless all those tonight who sing and speak of your love for us all. We pray these and all things in Jesus' holy name. Amen.
choir program. We help you enjoy it. It's called the Calling. And uh, we have tried to work diligently on it. <laughs> but anyway, we'll do our best and, and I've enjoyed doing this production. Have you finished the bedroom? Perhaps you could film on your yeah. shoulder the again tonight. I'm sorry to hear that, Anna. Is that that old pain coming back again? Oh, the pain that hurt just a lot. The night air brings it in. It will pass when the sun is coming. Where has this day gone? I've scarcely begun my weaving, and already the children are hungry for their supper. I would need to stay at my loom 26 hours a day to stay up with my Benjamin. Have you seen how he's grown? Your Benjamin and my Reuben. Isn't it astonishing? It's kind of sad, too. Soon they'll be men. And women. Marion's already borrowing some of my clothes. And last night I found her putting the juice from the pentaberry on her lips. Here you go. You want me to call one of the kids to 
Here's your supper. And some sweet cakes that are made for the men. Oh, and Michael, take my locker. Your father gave it to me. Perhaps it will keep you safe. It's not like any star there's ever been before. Hurry, Michael, and promise me you won't wander from the path for any reason. The star will block my way. Michael, do you promise? I promise.
especially when the caravans are coming through the desert. It makes no difference, Egyptian, Roman, Turk, or Jew. They all have the needs for the goods of Balaam. And they do not care the price that they pay to exchange their coins. Well, I'm not so fortunate as you. The price of sweet cake is the same as in Balon as it's in Rome or any other place. Mm. If I try to raise my prices, the buyers go to another food. Ah, uh, but this day will bring fortune to us both. Ah, oh, yes. The caravan of Ahab is flavored. It's very large and very rich. If men are always hungry, it should be here soon. <coughs> Wait. I think I see the first camels coming through the gateway now. I such goods all the way from Persia, so they say. So they say. Haman, see that boy over there? The small one at the gate? Yes, him. I think. What of it? Is is he by himself? I don't see anyone with him. None inside, anyway. And he's such a handsome lad. He's lost or run away, perhaps. But, well, so many people come through like that. You can tell he's never been in this place before. All alone. And such a handsome lad. Handsome enough, I suppose. But, what's your concern? I've never known you to worry about lost little children before. Is there anyone with him? No. Of course, of course. Of course, Ahab the Slaver will give shining round pieces of gold for a handsome young lad such as himself. Can you curse me for a or not? Well, I will call him over here and I will find out what he's doing here. And you, my friend, should tend to your customers. You're right, Greek. I see a customer approaching. Good luck with this little boy. Boy, over here. Call me, sir. Son, over here. Come over here. You look alone. Are you? Are you by yourself? Ah, uh, I see. Well, sit down, boy. Uh, here, have some, uh, have some cakes and something to drink, too. Why? That's a lovely necklace that you have there. Would you like to trade it for a gold piece? This? Oh, but I couldn't trade this. My father gave this to my mother. But you're all alone, boy. And in your travels, you will need some kind of money, are you sure? I think so. Come on. The next word offers it. Some things are more important than you can walk the shop yourself. And what village do you come from where there are things more important than gold? It's called Mara. Do you know where it is? No, but we'll see about it. You go ahead. Go on and eat. Huh, that's Baal, God of Balon. Yes. Isn't he wonderful? Skin made of the finest gold and eyes of the purest rubies. <coughs> Star? What star? 
going to take eyes much better than mine to see a star in a town like this. That's because your eyes are not accustomed to stargazing signs that only you can look And I suppose yours are? Who can see a star in a town like this? Where the only thing that shines is gold. Who would ever want to, even if he could? Who would take the time to prove it if he should? Who can see a star in a town like this? Where the only thing that shines is gold. <coughs> Who can see a star in a town like this? Where the only thing that shines is gold. Who would ever want to, even if we could? Who would take the time to, who would think he should? Who can see a star in a town like this? Where the only thing that shines is Oh. 
are men on their way to judgment. They have done evil things to other men. Yes, very bad. Look at that boy. He's tied like a sheep. Well, surely you've heard of slaves. Yes, but I never knew they were real people. Too much. Not enough. Too much. Not enough. Look, the boy's crying. Well, maybe he misses his old master. No, he do not want me sold. Hey, if you don't like it, close your eyes. No, I'm going to go help that boy. Yeah, stop, you little fool. He's just going to make you a slave, too. Come back. Oh, Silas. Then when did it come your concern to free other men's lives? Hey, I tried to stop him, Ahab. Well, the boy acted on his own. And he's a clever lad as well as handsome. He would have brought you a nice prize today if you had not let him take advantage of you. Now you will have to trade with me. This boy is not for trade. Why? Why not? Well, he's he's my uh he's my sister's child. Your sister's child? No wonder he's so clever and handsome. Then perhaps you are responsible for his actions, whether you told him to or not. Good Ahab, I told you. I tried to stop him. But you were unsuccessful, so I must insist that you give me this boy for my slave. How much? See, he was an extraordinary boy. Ten pieces of gold. Ten? What half of that is the going price? Yes, but he was different, and you were unsuccessful, so you must either pay me or let me take yours. I told you, this is my sister's child. Well, maybe you had better have better charge oh. of him. Oh, <laughs> oh my Eight, nine, ten. And let me warn you, take better care of him and keep him out of my sight. <laughs> yes, I <am. coughs> Now look what you've done. Ten pieces of gold would have been a full day's profit. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't watch this evil and not try to stop it. <sighs> One thing I'll say for you. You do have courage. I'll, I'll go now and cause you more, no more trouble. And where are you going? To follow my star. Oh yes, the star. Wait. I'll go with you. What about your business? Don't you know, some things are more important than money. The way I look at it, with your courage and my cleverness, together we should be quite able to follow any old star. Maybe we'll find your dreams again. Yes, maybe we will. And Michael, I tell you, that was a close call. And you can bet I never went back to that place again. You were brave. Well, I'd say more foolish. But that's another story. Tell me more about the cheese. Ah, yes, the deep blue sea. I hear tell that there's creatures under the sea that are bigger than a king's castle. In fact, a friend of mine was telling me that he saw a monster so big that it had teeth longer than a man's arm. Well, now that's another story. Sure you want to hear it? Oh, yes. Well, sit back. Let's see now. It was a dark and cold night. And I was a boy about your age. And I was living with this Fisher family, making my keep down by the sea. And
may be in great danger. I want you to take this gold, hide it in your robes. I want you to go over behind the tree, and those rocks, and dig yourself under the sand. Hide the money and don't make a sound. Now I'll try to get them to leave us. But keep yourself hidden. And no matter what you do, don't let them see the gold. If something should happen to me, then the gold is yours to keep. But maybe <coughs> I can convince them to leave an old, dying beggar, blind man to his fate here in the desert. Go now. Hurry.
together we shall follow the star, and together we shall find our king. Yes, see the other gifts that 